Hey guys, Big Phil here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out a rugged smartwatch. Listen, this is the first on Big Phil TV. I have reviewed so many different smartwatches, but this is actually a smartwatch that I can consider it to be rugged. I found this on Banggood and the price is around 33 US dollars very affordable what come what caught my attention about this smartwatch is the rugged design the way it looks it's just different it's not even about the price it's the fact that it is rugged i mean it looks rugged and that's the reason why i decided to go for it so we all can check it out on today's video this smartwatch is from the company rockbeat and the name of the watch is rockbeat mirror <laughs> what a nice name the watch has some nice features for example it has a 5 atm of water resistant it has a 1.9 inches of LCD screen. It has a lot of health features like blood oxygen, heart rate tracking, stress tracking, sleep tracking, lots of other features that we're gonna check out in today's video. It has a big battery, a battery capacity of up to 520 milliamps. So for all those specs and the price of about $35, this is kind of a good smartwatch to check out. But first, you wanna stay tuned to the end of this video to find out my honest thoughts about this smartwatch. All right, let's check out the first rugged smartwatch on Big Fair TV. I mean, a smartwatch that looks rugged. I mean, I've reviewed so many, even the Galaxy Watch 5, uh, 5 Pro I'm having here. It's a rugged smartwatch, but this actually looks rugged. So when you open it up, the first thing you can see is a quick start guide. And this is the watch, guys. <laughs> Uh, this is what caught my attention about this watch. This design right here. It reminds me of a Richard Mille. <laughs> yeah. A very nice design though. It looks different. And it looks big. It's huge. It's chunky. Holy cow. Here, yeah, guys. This looks like screws. But there are no screws. They're just design. Design part of the design of the watch. It comes in two colors. This is called Sand, sand Gold. And there's also black. But I think this looks better. This is the best looking one here. Yeah. All right, let's see what else comes in the box. In this little compartment. This is the charging cable. It has a magnetized system with USB type A. And this right here, I don't know what this is. So probably to change the strap, I don't know. But we're gonna find out. Now let's take a detailed look about this smartwatch. And as I mentioned earlier, the design of the watch reminds me of a Richard Mille, which is a good thing because Richard Mille is one of the most beautiful watch out there. So this design, it looks good. But the, my only downside right now is the fact that it is chunky. Listen, I would say this is probably the most chunkiest watch I've ever reviewed. I mean, compared with my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, uh, it's slightly thicker, but the design looks quite nice. It comes with this silicone strap, which is stretchable. That's a nice thing. Because remember, this smartwatch is meant mostly for people who go adventure, adventurers, people who take their watches to mountains, doing rugged stuff. So a silicone strap uh, that stretch is a good thing. And at the back of it, this is what the bag looks like. These are all the sensors right here. And this is the pin. That's where the charger is going to connect to start charging the watch. Here it has speaker because there's a speaker on this smartwatch and a microphone. So I guess you can make calls, but we're going to try it out. I don't know yet. But the fact that it has a speaker and a microphone, I believe you could make calls with this smartwatch. And there are three buttons. One on the top. Then this one is... It's rotate here. Yeah, it's like a rotating crown, so you can rotate it to navigate the watch. And there's one button on the bottom. I don't know what that is. We're gonna find out. Now I understand why this comes with a screwdriver. With this little screwdriver right here, you could take out the strap. So you put it right here, you unscrew the strap. Let's power it on for the first time. Mm, let's see which way is the power button. All right, the top one is the power button. Oh, wow, we're in already. Holy moly. We don't even have to scan anything. We don't need the app. We're already into the watch. Yeah. So this is what the watch looks like, guys. But the screen, the screen is good, though. Yeah. The screen is good. Let me see if this is the full brightness. Yeah, this is a full brightness. 
The screen is quite good. Quite good. Yeah, it's an LCD, so it looks quite nice. I just found a QR code in the settings, which you can use the camera of a smartphone, scan the QR code, and it's going to take you to the app. The app is called DaFit. We're going to talk more about the app later in this video. But first, let's talk more about the watch. If you swipe from top to bottom, it takes you to the quick panel where you got things like brightness, uh, flashlight, and settings, and all that. Do not disturb, all there. And if you swipe from bottom to top, it takes you to your notifications or your messages. If you swipe from right to left, it takes you to all the health features. Blood oxygen, uh, blood pressure, stress, weather, calculator. Oh, the calculator is big. The numbers are huge. I mean, the fact that the watch has a big screen, everything just looks big and nice on it. Then here we have the daily activities. Then you could add more, more tights. And they're here, so we could add phone calls. Then if you swipe from left to right, it takes you to the, uh, this are the recently used app right here. Then on the top, we have a voice com command, a voice assistant. So if you tap right here on this icon, it activates a voice assistant. Then the watch faces, if you tap and hold, it takes you to all the different watch faces. Or you could access more watch faces in the app. Let me see. This is the app right here. That fit. These are the watch faces that you can download from your phone and upload them onto the watch. Now let's get in the settings of the watch. And to access the setting, first you press this top button right here. When you press it, it takes you to all the different uh, features or apps. Then you can use this rotating crown to move around everything. This looks nice though. But the rotating crown is not very smooth. I mean, it's not as smooth as that of the Apple Watch. But it's alright. It's very usable and it's quite nice that it's there. It makes navigating the watch much easier. So with this rotating crown, I now go to the settings, tap on it. In the settings, we have a display. If you tap on the display, you could change that menu view. Right here, you tap on it, you see we have different views. We have full moon, we have a crescent, we have surface, a parallel, grid view, honeycomb, and list view. Oh, this hems also. So I like full moon. Then on the bottom, we have vibrate and ring. We have DND mode. Then we have low power mode, phone system, and about. And in the about, that's where you access the QR code. And when you press this button on the bottom, it takes you to all the different exercises. According to the company, there are about 100 plus exercises on this watch which you can use the rotating crown to move around all the different exercises. The watch has so many exercises, man. Listen, I will say this is the first affordable smartwatch that I have reviewed that has so many exercises. Really nice. If we tap on one of the exercises, let's say we tap on working, this is what it looks like. And it gives you information like the total steps, calories, heart rate, distance, the pace, and the heart rate zone, lots of information. This is really nice, man. But the most important thing is, are uh, these, I mean, does the watch track all those exercises accurately? Or is the watch going to track all those different health features accurately? That's the question that I'm gonna reply you guys after few days. All right, guys, it's been few days since I unboxed the Rockbit Mail. And for those few days, I've put this smartwatch to the test. I've used it so much. I took it to bed, took it to work, took it everywhere. I mean, it was on my wrist for 24 hours, 24 and 24 hours. Because I wanted to know more about the smartwatch, so I'll be able to give you guys my honest thoughts and opinion about it. Let's start with the first most important thing, which is this smartwatch has lots of features. Like, trust me guys, this smartwatch is packed with features. For an affordable smartwatch, it just have, it has features that are found on expensive flagship smartwatches. For example, a blood pressure, it has blood pressure feature here. It has blood oxygen, 
a whole day heart rate tracking, stress tracking, and lots of other great health and basic features on this smartwatch. And I would say this smartwatch tracks all those features good. Not great, but good. Because I took it to bed, it was able to track my sleep, it uh, tracked my step count, my calorie burn, my heart rate, everything. Good, but not great. Because some of the features were not really accurate. I'm saying that because I have other smartwatches which I use at the same time. I have most expensive smartwatches here which I was able to compare the accuracy between this watch and those other smartwatches. But these perform alright. Not the best, not great, but good. There are some few things I really like about a smartwatch. The fact that this watch will remind you to stand up. If you've been sitting for a long period of time, the watch will remind you to stand up. The watch will remind you to drink water. And also, the level of customization on this smartwatch is insane. You could do anything. I mean, it's highly customizable. Even the watch faces are customizable. And the fact that it has a rotating crown, it makes navigating the watch much easier. You can even use the rotating crown to change watch faces. As you can see right here, you see that? You just simply screw up or down, it changes the watch faces. You can check notifications, you can read your messages, you can receive calls, reply to calls from this smartwatch. You can even make calls from this smartwatch right here. So I would say this smartwatch is packed with features. Even though it is an affordable smartwatch, there are just lots of features. This watch is a jack of all features, but don't expect perfection with this smartwatch. Don't expect greatness because all those features works good. The watch tracks those health features good, but not great. So don't expect perfection with this watch right here. The, the display is another thing I like about the watch. The display is fine. It's bright enough to see time, to see your notifications, to see messages, even outdoor in uh, in brightness, in full brightness out there, you'll be able to see everything, you'll be able to do everything on the watch because the display is fine. As I mentioned earlier in this video, it is an LCD display, but the resolution is fine. The battery is also good. For the few days I've been using this smartwatch, I've charged it just once. And the last time I charged it, it was at 100%. Right now, as you can see, this is the battery right here. I think right now it's about I would say probably around 80% or 70%, I don't know, it doesn't have a percentage, but this is it right here. My biggest downside to this smartwatch would be the size, the thickness. It is too thick and a bit uncomfortable to wear all day, especially if you got to take this thing to bed. Oh my God, it's very uncomfortable. These edges right here is too sharp. I wish the company could have made it a little bit curve, a little curve at this edge. Because here, it's very sharp, man. When you have it on your wrist, you feel very uncomfortable at this particular angle right here. So I wish the company would be able to reduce the size in the future version, you know, make it a little bit slimmer. And also, try to make sure this angle are not too sharp because it's uncomfortable. Then another second thing is the quality of the strap. The strap is stretchable, which is nice. It's very good for those who do a lot of exercises, adventurer. But the quality of the strap is not the best. It attracts so much fingerprint. Since I've been using it for a few days, just check it out. See how it looks. It doesn't look as clean or as good as the first day I unboxed it. So it attracts so much fingerprint. And lastly, the fact that you could not change the strap. Changing the strap is quite difficult. It doesn't have the universal strap system or the universal release mechanism. You have to use that little screwdriver to, un to unscrew the, the strap. Those are the things I like about a smartwatch and the things I dislike about it. So that's my honest opinion about the Rockbeat mirror. But personally, I do like it. The price is good. It's a great smartwatch with lots of features. It's a great rugged smartwatch for adventurer. And the fact that the battery life can last you longer is a great thing for this watch. So I, will, I can recommend it. Yeah, yeah. I can recommend it for anyone who is looking for an affordable smartwatch. But you got to make sure you have a bigger wrist. And you got to make sure you can wear a watch that have this thickness. Because trust me, it is thick. 
and a bit uncomfortable. Yeah. And that's it, guys. Let me know down in the comment section what are your thoughts about it. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up.